What's up everybody, this is Aaron the Excited Wanderer. Today's episode is about the top 3 scams in Japan that you should know about. Now, Japan is an extremely safe country and it's very unlikely that you get scammed, but it could still happen. So I'm here to spread some awareness and hopefully you'll know what to do if you're in the same situation. So let's begin. The first is money slash donation scams. Donation scams are straightforward, but it can come in different ways. You might be approached by people who are collecting donations for a fake orphanage, groups who are representing disaster relief organizations, fake monks asking donations for a temple, and even old ladies who will ask for some spare change. Hmm, now that last one doesn't sound that bad, but sometimes there's a pickpocket nearby who is watching to see where you keep your wallet and will pick it later. How do you avoid these people? So donation scams are rampant across Asia and the best approach is to just say no and walk away. Ignore them long enough and they'll quickly give up because there are plenty of other gullible tourists to scam instead. Some of these people can seem legit as they are friendly and can speak English very well. Listen to your gut. If it doesn't seem right to you, just end the conversation and walk away. Next, we have rip-off bars and drink spiking scams. So this next scam is actually a two-in-one and often happens to tourists who are walking along red light districts like Tokyo's Kabukicho and Roppongi area. The first part of the scam involves touts or crowd pullers who will try to get you into their choice of restaurant or bar. Once you go in, you'll be charged ridiculously high prices for food and drink, which of course you'll only find out when it's time to pay the bill. If at the time you know it's a ripoff and decide to walk out without paying, they will threaten you with violence. The next part of the scam involves spiking your drink with drugs that either knock you out or leaves you dazed for hours. You'll wake up in the street without your wallet and passport, and also without any memory of what happened the night before. Men and women who were victims of this scam were even beaten up and sexually assaulted after being drugged. So why doesn't the police do something about this? Well, they are aware of these scams going on, but they can't actually act until the victim lodges a complaint. And due to the language barrier and the lengthy investigation times, it usually means the victim will have already left the country by then. So most victims don't even bother going to the police at all. So how do you avoid this problem? Well, to reduce your chances of falling into these scams, decide on a bar or restaurant that you want to go to before heading into the area. Make sure you've done your research to make sure it's a reputable business and never allow the touts to force you to go to anywhere else. Be firm in your response and they will usually leave you alone, especially if there are other people around. When in the bar, never ever leave your drink unattended or consume anything that you did not see being made in front of you. Bottle and canned drinks are also the better choice because it's much harder to secretly put drugs inside. Finally, we have restaurant scams. And this scam is similar to the bar scam where touts will try to push you into a restaurant they are working with. They will ask if you can speak any Japanese and if you can't, that makes you an easy target. You'll be given a tourist-only menu with hiked up prices and you might even receive a smaller portion of food which won't even taste good. They don't expect you to return after this, so their only aim is to get as much of your money as possible. So how do you avoid this scam? Well, once again, the key is to never allow any tout to force you into any place that you don't want to go. But what if you find yourself in a shady restaurant by chance? Well, you should start by ordering plain water or green tea in case they try to sell you anything fancy like sparkling water. Then when paying for your bill, never pay for any items which were not ordered, although this will be tough to find if it's written in Japanese. And that's it. Again, Japan is very safe and most people won't have any problems at all. If you are targeted, then I hope you remember this video so you know how to get yourself out of a bad situation. If you've been scammed in Japan before, please share your story below so we can all learn from it. 
Finally, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.